Hello guys. Uh, before we start the, the, the description and the spelling of the project, new project that we have, uh, let me ask you to subscribe and uh, press the notification bell to support us. Now, our project, let's call it like that, is a TPR engine. Presently, we have only the block cylinder because uh, we send the head cylinder to machine uh, shop for resurfacing and grinding of valves. Uh, we prepare now and the block cylinder, but uh, I want to show you uh, where the main problem where and why we decide to make a total rebuilding of the engine. So let's take a look first of all the crankshaft. If we see the crankshaft, we already have here one of the connecting, uh, connecting uh, bearing, uh, connecting rod buried, the wound, the crankshaft. Also, we have lines here down. Okay. Uh, probably what I suspect because we find when we remove we find this head cylinder gasket. I believe that they did a maybe the engine knocks small and they change the connecting rod bearings, but they don't notice this thing. Let me show you from this side the piston, and we have here. I don't know if you will show on camera. This is the first. Second, third, fourth, we mark it. If you see the difference of the connecting rod, probably the old ones, they wound already the connecting rod. They don't make inspection like the other one. And they put a, a new connecting rod bearing uh, with the results after short time to actually one is slipped we find one broken and one is slipped, totally. Uh, how is slip and then this is the one that we found, I think, and the other piece, it was a pieces. We find inside. The other one, actually it was like that. The other one, it was pieces inside to the sound. Uh, now what, what we decide to do, because of this incident, let's say, because of the crankshaft and uh, because of some leakages that we have on the back side of the, of the crankshaft, plus that they don't did correct job because this is a fake gasket, we decide to rebuild the engine. We, and what we will do, and what we will change, the parts that we are changing, they are brand new OEM, the new Toyota, we, we are changing crankshaft, pistons connecting rod, uh, piston rings, uh, connecting rod bearing, main bearing. We order also a original gasket over pole set, because uh, I already give the seals to the machine shop so he will assemble me the head cylinder. And uh, how you call it? And uh, what else we order? I think that's the. Ah, and the front cover complete with the oil pump because the bridge passed through the system. And I'm not 100% sure, but it's already a bad sign when you do so expensive uh, work on the vehicle. So now, second, let's talk about the cylinder. Please, Yusuf, can you, can you turn it? Very important thing on the cylinder is to do a honing. For this reason, we will send and the block cylinder to the machine shop. Now, the honing of the cylinder that we want to do is to protect actually the unnecessary wear of pistol rings and uh, 
they will create like let's say a better ceiling of the cylinder uh, and also because of the lubrication of the cylinder meaning that as for instance when the cylinder because these two they are for the compression the the last one the third one that is not third is two small and one sprint inside is this one that we're calling for the oil uh, making the honing of the cylinder uh, when the, the piston is moving up and down he have the power to lubricate the cylinder also by the lubrication of the cylinder here we are talking about below of the of the main compression uh, rings is uh, sealing also and is increasing the compression of the of the cylinder so we have a better combustion so this is the purpose the major purpose of the honing to lubricate and the cylinder protect the rings and uh, seal the let's say the cylinder from the combustion so that that it will be the major job that uh, on machine shop they will do now do we need that i will assemble it by myself because some uh, machine shops they can assemble you all these things me i would prefer to do it by myself and by the way he will uh, i will send also to change me the, because we are changing uh, we buy pistons and etc i will change him also to change me and connect me the pistons with the connecting to the new rod because the pistons uh, not that i can do it but you need to have an oven and you need to put it around uh, 80 90 100 degrees so the aluminum because here we have a steel here we have an aluminum the aluminum it expand faster than the steel and this spec you can press inside the the how you call this one shaft let's call it yeah. eh? yeah. and let's say this this shaft and to lock it after here is the locker so this is the correct way to avoid heats because expanding with the correct temperature in oven that we don't have here uh, immediately the, the shaft, the locker let's say, it will enter easily from here. Here is free anyway, have to be free. It's these two spots actually that we have to pass without to force the locker. And after we're putting the, the locker, the sprint. So also this job, it will be done on a machine shop. Now, uh, we will follow up with a project of 2TR engine. By the way, it's an engine from Toyota Hilux 2011-12 model to buy spec. I'm saying that because they have small differences, the block cylinders. And uh, what else we have here to say? Uh, anyway, we can talk about these components that uh, maybe somebody will ask i think the one tr engine don't have a balancer the two tr engine have a balancer what is a balancer is they did it purposely uh, to reduce the vibration and the sound of the engine uh, this is the major purpose of the balancers a lot of brands they are using balancers for instance mercedes they have in the middle one major balancer. In 2TR engine, they use two balancers. And except that, I want to say something about this engine, the specific 2TR engine, 2.7 liters. It's a heavy duty engine. Heavy duty, what, you, what I mean. We can meet this engine, except Prado, Fortuna, and Hilux, that they are light vehicles. You can, you can see this engine on Hayas, or ordinary Hayas or minibus. You can see this engine on Costa. And 
I'm not sure if Dana also is using this engine. I think they use also some editions of Petro engine. Some South Africa spec. I'm not sure about that. Maybe it's not accurate my information. But Costa and uh, Kayas, I'm 100% sure. That means that it's a heavy, a heavy duty engine. And uh, one more to, to break down this engine. It's not so common. These engines, they don't give easy issue. The only issue that these engines have on the past, some specific period of production, they have with the uh, rocket arms that they used to sleep and they used to bend valves. And uh, after the recalls, they changed the status. For instance, here they have the sprint. They changed the sprint. That was the major cost because he do, the sprint he cannot come back and support the valve. That that momentary because everything is happening on a millisecond. The rocket arm used to slip out from the lifter, and the result it was to bend small the valve or to don't have at all valve for one cylinder. That's all. It was a, a small error that they correct. By the way, guys, this, this was one small de description about 2TR engine, uh, Toyota, uh, and we focus on the block cylinder because here it was the major problem. The head cylinder, we just uh, did resurface, grinding and changing of valves. It's not anything there to show yet. Thank you very much, and uh, we talk soon. Please don't forget to subscribe to support us. Thank you, guys.